One of the platforms that I'm often asked about whether we can use Ecamm into is Webinar Jam. And yes, you can. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can set it up. I used to use Webinar Jam all the time for weekly webinars. A great platform. But since coming on to Ecamm and using that, I always felt it was a bit backwards going back to Webinar Jam. I'd having to click your way through the buttons between presentations and you being on camera, things like this. So much slicker in Ecamm. So understandably, if you're up and running on Ecamm and you've got a slideshow and things all ready to go in there, how much better to just feed this in and let the feed of your Ecamm, you can kind of do the presentation in Ecamm and just let that whole feed go out. So let's just show you how to do that. Uh, I'm assuming you're already on Webinar Jam, so I'm not gonna go through setting that up. I've got a, a demo uh, webinar sitting here ready to go. And as you can see, I've got Ecamm open. Now, you do need to be on the pro version of Ecamm because you are going to need the virtual cam. If you don't know how to set that up, then this video up here will show you that one. And in this scenario, we're also using loopback because we want to send the audio. We want to be able to play an intro video and things like that, a countdown. We want to bring in a testimonial. And I want people to hear that and that audio doesn't come across the virtual cam. You do need to use another bit of software and we use loopback. And again, in that video up there, I show you how to set that up. So assuming you've done that or you're familiar with it, let's jump across to Webinar Jam and I just want you to see how this comes in. Now, I do suggest if this is the first time setting this up that you make sure you've got Ecamm done first and uh, you've put that virtual cam on and the audio output if you're going to do that and then open up Chrome, then open up Webinar Jam, else it might not see the Ecamm feed. So I can go to this, uh, let's run a test webinar over here. It takes me back actually being on this platform. Presenter, let's go to the live room and uh, let's start this test. I just wanna see what it's picking up. So as you see, it's actually picked it up by default, my Ecamm Live virtual cam. So it's right at the last stage of running this test through, but it's asking you which video you want to use. Uh, it might be set up on your other camera and hopefully you're seeing Ecamm Live in this drop down. And then in the audio, uh, I'm using this virtual mic, which is what we set up with Loopback to be able to send the audio out from Ecamm. So for me, it's been as straightforward as that. And then I just run through the tests, am I hearing it? If you're not seeing it up here, just come up here to this little icon at the top that will come into the settings for your camera. Uh, you can't actually change the drop down here, but it's showing you what's there and it says manage. It takes you off to another screen, scroll down to camera, and this is where you get your drop down, and you should be seeing your Ecamm Live virtual cam here. If you're not, a uh, few things you could do, just make sure that you're definitely up to date on the latest version. Come down to about Chrome, checking for updates. So just make sure that you are on this latest version. It's just asking me to relaunch that, but it should be as straightforward as that. Um, I just wanted you to see that it is possible. Uh, let us know in the comments if you are struggling with it, but honestly, if you try that with Ecamm first, make sure that you've got the virtual cam open and then open up Webinar Jam. If things aren't going, maybe reboot the whole thing. Let's have a go at that. Uh, make sure Ecamm is on its latest version, Chrome's on its latest version. But as you can see there, uh, it absolutely works. And yes, you can use Ecamm as your feed inside of your Webinar Jam webinar. Okay, I hope you found that useful. I'll see you in another video.